I tried a lot of different sports like every other kid and uh, I was never earmarked to, to be a great athlete because I was always one of the smaller kids at the time and uh, played American football, baseball, basketball, uh, did track and field and uh, even did gymnastics in high school and fencing as well so I participated in a lot of sports but it was never anything serious just the normal uh, uh, offerings of sports that we had when I was younger. Kids always did sports and physical fitness. My academic background is in science so athletics is, was a hobby of mine. I was never really uh, gonna be a coach. I wasn't interested in coaching. The only person I've ever coached was myself because I did most of the groundwork myself. First international meet, I was, I knew I was going to win the race if I didn't fall over a hurdle, which is always, you know, an issue when you run hurdles. So you never really know until you finish the 10th hurdle what's going to happen in a hurdles race. But I was, I was confident that I was trained better, better than everybody. I knew that I could win the race and uh, during the Olympic Games. Uh, fortunately for me, I didn't really get caught up in being at the Olympics. I was so seriously into the competition. I went out and did what I needed to do. It was a day by day and a year by year uh, scene. You know, at the end of all of those races, 40, 47 seconds of race is really not that much time. It's a matter of minutes then you actually run per year. I ran about, competed about 15 minutes a year at the end of the year. That's all it comes out to and uh, nine, 10 months of training to be able to do that. So the races, you know, for me are not a really big part of it because everything happens so fast and there's really so small amount of the time versus everything else that you did to prepare. In track and field, most people never get a chance to win a gold medal, world championships, whatnot. Um, I was able to break my world record, or break the world record on four different occasions, which is a, a very high number for a running event. Hardly anyone does that. So, you know, I ran four world records, which are all great performances, and I ran a couple of uh, track meets in which I probably could have run faster than, way faster than I did running any of the records, and uh, just didn't on those days. So, um, the Olympics in LA was a really big, big event. involved in lots of different things, committees and organizations that have nothing to do with, with athletics, uh, from being a commissioner at the White House level to working with uh, criminal justice organizations, drug testing, uh, worked in banking and finance, so I've done a lot of different things, most of it not associated with sports. It started in November of 1999, actually. Um, I was uh, in California and Daley Thompson came out as a representative uh, to talk to me about joining Laureus. And uh, we talked about the sports awards program. That was really the, the uh, main, main event that was gonna be happening. And uh, I don't think there was a lot of thought put into the foundation at that point, although we knew that there was gonna be a foundation and uh, at the first academy meeting in May of 2000, uh, I think Daly uh, tossed my name around and everybody said, here, here, and that was it. That's how I became chairman. Uh, but I think most people look at and expect you to you know, be a track and field athlete and uh, no more, but I've done lots of, a lot of different things.